How's it going, just mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with No One Lives Forever. Alas, the last time, for a while anyway, or you know, a couple of weeks, because I love my No One Lives Forever. But yes, we've got this gold coin for sneakiness. Don't know what's happening next, though, so. During the flight to London, attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker right. is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. Okay, so we're on a plane? Learn what you can from Dr. Schenker. Yes, her doctor. Oh, okay, a new area. <laughs> well, I, I'm guessing this plane ride doesn't go so well. Pretty sure there's going to be more than one scene. If it was just one scene, then it wouldn't say. It would just be like unexpected turbulence. Like, like training and requiem for a spy. Ah, this yes. Your captain speaking. We have reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seatbelt and no smoking signs. Feel free to move about the cabin. As long as that's safe, then sure, I will. We're in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. This is a spy film. There's no such thing. Okay, so I've got a conversation here. Um, he doesn't like direct questions, so... Will your wife be joining you in England? What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? Say us talk for Sayara. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. Oh. Aww. My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No. No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the biological explosives research team. So you made the animals explode? Biological explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. Oh no. As I've heard, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. Oh, and that's what all that experimentation was about. The reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. Oh, okay, another conversation. Um be a terrorist stream come true, but surely it would never work. How is such a thing? Well, he just said how a thing's possible. It's a chemical reagent. I, I, I wouldn't really ask any of this. I'd be like, why are you doing this? Why are you making a weapon for terrorists? I mean, think about it. What practical use does this weapon have? Alright, um... Second option again. How is such a thing possible? How is such a thing possible? Ah, oh? I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issue. All right. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. Thank you, friend. It would make a fine pupil. Thank you. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your competence. Damn right. Apology accepted. Okay, so... Now the Doctor likes us. And there's another plane. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Oh, wait, it's the Scotch there. guy. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. What are you doing? Get up, laddies. We're going aboard. So he's a bad guy. Boss is lost. I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Alright. That doesn't seem good. Something else in here. Any documents? Um, I have... Oh, I have a shepherd's. Okay. Well, if I'm trying to be sneaky, sure, but... Are you supposed to 
be here. Whoa, hello. Oh, I've got full health. That's good. That's very good. Okay. The unity thing. That's nice. That's us. Ah. This gun. Didn't really help me much last time, but whatever. What's up? Whoa. Okay, people. It's a big, big plane. Turn me on. Oh, no, not dumb, dumb. I hate dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb. It's my worst enemy. So, so, so is these guys, to be fair. But, you know. Ooh. Armor and a toilet letter. Did you leave? At last! HQ is transferring me to Cairo. See you next week. Love, Harold. Whoa. Right. That doesn't seem safe. Don't drag me there. Right, so I can't... Huh. Where am I meant to go then? Alright, I'll just check down there. I'll try again. So, what we got? We got... That's locked. Locked. Suitcases. More. What? Oh, God. Okay, I, I am struggling to find what I meant to do. I need a walkthrough. Oh, come on. I've done this game inside and out. Where do I even... Something like up here so I can climb? No? Oh, wait. Oh, come on. Right. Alright, fine. Don't know how I was meant to spot that. It'll give me some information. I love how it's conveniently where it needed to be as well. Really? Alright, fine. Huh? Don't dis. Oh, okay, fine. Shouldn't insult food! I made that potato salad myself. Or cottage cheese, whatever it's meant to be. Right, okay. I'm going to get to hear the rest of that potato salad joke. If it was meant to be a joke. Oh. Okay, up here. Um. Okay, there's a bit down here. Oh, a map. That's good. And then there's the front bit. Hello. So much for a lovely, relaxing flight. You're telling me. Oh. Sleep tight, lassie. She's a. You're not going to kill her? What if she wakes up? Now look here, you. I'm not going to butcher a fellow countryman without a specific grudge. If she wakes up, she can fend for herself. If she dies, then she ain't really a Scot, so I don't <laughs> feel bad. Now, go get that doctor fella and do a final sweep. Take anything that looks important. Papers, files, whiskey, whatever. So he's a bad guy. Yes, sir. Damn Scott, although I'm a Scot, so... Nine years ago? This is new. I haven't seen this. What the hell is this? I've never seen this before. I've never seen that picture before, either. Alright, Kate, let's not be greedy tonight. Three picks and come straight home. What? This was not in the PC version. I, I don't think, unless... Was this added later? Someone there? We've got you, it's over with. I... What? I've never seen this before. I... Oh, I gotta keep playing now. Why is this happening now? This... This did... I, I've never seen this before. So, okay. We have intelligence. I'm wondering if maybe we unlock some levels. Ugh. Which do you prefer? The violet or avocado? What's wrong with the first you have now? That raggedy old thing? I'm embarrassed to be seen with it in public. You bought it last month. I know, but... Well, it doesn't go with my new shoes. Oh, no. New shoes? Darling, this vacation is costing us an arm and a leg. You keep spending money like this, we'll have to swim home. Well, you can't expect me to wear shoes that clash with my new dress. Oh, no, definitely not. New dress? Oh. Don't 
be mad, sweetie. We've got you, it's over with. No, you haven't. Oh, great. So I found a new secret level or whatever. And I can't bloody beat it. What? I don't get what I'm meant to do, though. Okay, not down there. What do you have now? Wait, what? What? So it's everyone, is it? I genuinely don't know what's going on. Is it because I dress like a cat burglar? What? I don't even know where I'm going. Alright, okay. I'm going to try and focus on the game. So, everywhere I go, there's a lot of dead ends. I'm going to a club? Am I... I genuinely don't know what I'm doing. Like, okay, I'm the cat burglar, but... No, oh come on, where do I go? What am I even doing? There's no clue where I, I still go. Have work to do. Okay, that was ripped off from the previous level we did, but... Alright, so... I have to go somewhere and steal something. I can't get caught by the police. Which do you prefer, the violet or avocado? It seems I've got to let that guy spot me. Go to the alarm. Then I go over here. But I don't know what to do after that. I can't open any of these doors. Don't get caught by the officer, I guess. Which is definitely easier said than done. No. We've got you. No, you haven't! Oh, come on! Oh, this is a nightmare. So not only do I investigate something new, investigate, find something new, um, I can't seem to conquer it. Can I just press this Which alarm myself? The violet or avocado? No, I can't. Okay. Hey, friend. Thanks, friend. What is happening? I can only think this was added to the PS2 version because the PS2 version came later. Ah, okay, right. I'm around this bit. So now... Just gotta make sure that guy doesn't see me. I think that's okay. Hello. Nope. Is that you, Lamb Chop? Right. I'm sorry about what I said. When I said plump, I meant it in a cuddly way. Not really. You said your wife, but okay. Please say something. Hello. You know I love your cooking, sweet pea. The dog looks so end. hungry I couldn't help myself. Are you mad because of what I said about your hair? Beehive, cocoon, it was an honest oh. mistake. Are you still there, Lumpkins? Please take me back. Okay, now I kind of get what we need to do. So I need to steal handbags. But well, I really am lost. So I don't know where the hell those handbags are. I've genuinely never seen this before. Oh my god. Okay. Don't know where the other spare change. Is that one of the things I needed? Or I don't think it was. I think it's just, you know, some stuff. Bonus content. Very nice. Is there anything even down here? Oh, I don't want to go past that guard again. That was a nightmare. Seems really weird for a cat burglar, though. I would have thought they'd, um, you know, burglar house. Alright, so I've got to find briefcases. But I don't know where the briefcases are. I found one! But this is going to be a nightmare to... Okay, I can't go there. There's a guard in the way. Not unless I have some kind of alarm. That guy's walking up and down that street. Maybe I can sneak past him somehow. Okay. Hopefully I can just go past you. Some more spare change, but not what I need. 
Ah, oh, no, that's a door. I don't know why that was a... That, I thought that was a briefcase or something then. Getting very easily excited. Alright, there's a park here, but... <laughs> don't cry. I never want to see that big elf again. I can't believe he called me... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. And he ate my cookie. God, they really put the accents into this, didn't they? Right. One of the uh, briefcases must be in this park area. Or, you know, wherever that girl is. And I've got a mischievous, mischievous, mischievous feeling. Oh, no. No! Gimme! Run, run, run. Running! Did I make it? Am I alright? I hope I'm alright. Oh god, it is so dark down here. I can't even. Alright, so there's that guy over there. Somewhere there's one more brief... Uh, there's one more briefcase somewhere. Oh, you're going to be frustrating to deal with. Huh. Right, I think I know where this last briefcase is. I think it was with the other couple. Because it seems this stuff seems to be near people. Um, I'm not sure, like, I can get to them still. God damn. Why was this not in the PC game? I just feel like this is, oh, this is so cool. And yet so weird at the same time. Like, I legit have the gold edition. This is just a normal PS2 version. Alright, so I've got to find... That couple was before. Oh, wait, that's the park. So logically, where I need to go is down here. Oh, mm. policeman! Oh, you're gonna make things impossible, aren't you? Thanks, man. Literally, just need one bag. No, I don't recognise this area. Running, running, running! Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Time to head home. Yep, heading home. Heading home as fast as I can. Where's home? Is it here? Uh, okay. Uh, home. That was it? What? Was that literally just to say, oh, this was Kate Archer before she was just, what? I've never seen that before. I've never, not once, ever seen that level. Something's not right. All right, let's go. But some of our men are still aboard. Listen to you crying like a wee girl. They'll have to make do, won't they? Okay. I'm so confused. Why did that scene happen? That never ha Alright, so our plane's crashing. That's, yeah, um, that, that probably should be the most important thing right now. Right. I'm gonna end the episode here. So that was, um, that was really, really interesting, because I knew she was a cat burglar, and I saw these previous intelligence files. I'm guessing the PS2 version, despite I feel like the music and stuff wasn't as well done, but I feel like there might be more content in the PS2 version. Or, maybe I had a certain level of intelligence that allowed me to see the past like that? I don't know what happened, but I might take a little look on the internet and see if there's any other, like, stuff that I missed. And, you know, I might, like, try and see if there's anything in the future that might come up and require certain stuff to happen for it to be enabled. But that was really weird and cool at the same time. Normally, you just go to this scene three bit. But you know what? Whatever happens, if if we go back to the past and get to see more of Kate Archer, or we just keep going with the story like normal, we shall see that in the next episode. Look out for my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.